Dignitaries, students, faculty, staff, and parents, welcome. My name is Stephen Barberi. I'm the grant facilitator at Waterbury Adult Education and your master of ceremonies for today's program. It is my great pleasure to welcome all of you to the 2001 Waterbury Adult Education Enlightenment School and State Street Program Graduation Ceremony. At this time, please stand, remove your hats for the Pledge of the Allegiance, followed by the Star Spangled Banner. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the National Anthem. May be seated. At this time, we will begin the ceremony with remarks from our dignitaries. First, it is my great pleasure to welcome the Superintendent of Waterbury Public Schools, Dr. Verna Ruffin. Thank you very much. Congratulations, graduates. I'm certain that you've been looking forward to this day, this occasion, this wonderful event, and that you have family and friends, people that are very close and dear to you, celebrating with you today. So it's an honor being here. I'd like to also extend a sincere thank you to all of your principals, all of your leaders, administrators, teachers, and staff who have poured into your lives because they are so proud of not only what you've accomplished, but what you are about to accomplish for the remainder of your lives. And I know that they share in me in congratulating you. I would also like to recognize our, one of our board members who is here with us this afternoon, and that is Mr. Tom Van Stone. Uh, we are very pleased and send our, our congratulatory uh, comments to each and every one of you from all of the board members who are so proud of you as well. To say that you have experienced an unprecedented year is just putting it mildly. It seems like just a jargon that everybody says today to describe something that no one could have prepared for. So beyond learning in non-traditional ways, you were also faced with persevering, really seeing what grit looks like, not just what we read in a book, uh, really experiencing what flexibility and just trying to manage some things that change sometimes hour to hour and certainly from day to day and oftentimes multiple changes in one single week. So you've learned some things that will help you and guide you along the way that you couldn't have imagined capturing in the last 15 months. For many of you, you've spent the last 15 months the equivalent of part of the second to the last year of your tenure to the very last year 
before you walked and marched through this milestone that you're about to finish today. For those of you that are graduating from adult education, my hat's off to you because you definitely have grit. You will continue to learn and prosper, and I wish you the very best on all of your endeavors. You have demonstrated that strong will and that strong desire and that commitment for excellence. To those students that are graduating from Enlightenment and those who are graduating from State Street, I'm so proud of you as well, because in very difficult times, you have managed to do something really remarkable, that is to be successful in the midst of a pandemic. I want to congratulate all of the graduates, wish you the very best in your future endeavors, dream big, always remember that even if it's hard, it doesn't mean that you can't do it because you just proved that you can, because you did. Congratulations, graduating class of 2021. Thank you, Dr. Ruffin. Now, representing the Board of Education, Commissioner Thomas Van Stone. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'll tell you, the graduation season, this is uh, always my favorite ceremony. What it takes to get here is a big task, big commitment. Over the years, I have led Kennedy High adult education, graduation, in dancing, singing. And one year, we played Family Feud. So when I was coming here, uh, because I don't ever write a speech, I just come and tell you what I'm thinking. Um, I thought maybe i mix up all three. But before we get there, I do have some things I want to say to our graduates. And oh, by the way, I thought seeing, well, seeing, isn't it great to be seeing people in person? Um, I almost brought my iPad and was going to set it up so you looked at my iPad to see me as opposed to my face. I said, you know what? We've had enough of that. We've had enough of that. And I'm so glad. Look at this beautiful day God gave us. So graduates, First, in blue. Alternative education. That's what they call it. Alternative, just a choice. Many, many years ago, in the early 70s, um, I knew someone who, eh, the first two years of high school, his name was on the roll call. I'm not so sure he went all that often. Uh, and by junior year, that person found alternative education, which really means choice. Choices we make, choices made for us, and choices that have just found us. So I know what it means when other people look at you and say, oh, you went to alternative education. Next time someone does that, or you even think they're thinking it, say, Damn right I went to alternative education, and now I have my high school diploma, and I'm ready to take over the world. Okay, so it, it was just where your path took you. You're now taking big steps to go forward and continue whatever it is you may choose to do. But the first thing is, if any doors are closed, kick them in. Okay, because you... as Dr. Ruffin said, you absolutely could do it. And oh, by the way, that person who went to alternative education because he didn't really go to school a freshman sophomore year, it's me. It's me. I did the same path you guys did, okay? Kick in the door, okay? Now back to that story about dancing, singing, family feud. When I couldn't decide, I said, you know what? I think we'll do all three. And you know why? Because this year, if ever, we need to be family. And we're here together. So when I played the family feud game, uh, I don't even know how many years ago that was, I asked each individual family 
to cheer. Because, by the way, anyone who's never been to this ceremony, we don't have any rules. We celebrate. And I plan to hear that later. So when I played Family Feud, I asked each family to just uh, take a little time, and I wanted to hear how you were going to cheer for your favorite person that's sitting down here with us. Who knows? Maybe your favorite person in the graduating class is named Tori. And we all have someone here we want to think about today and to bring them home on this journey. Okay, so here we go. No family feud. Oh, I, the other was where I see, I told you I had no notes. One year we sang We Are Family. And man, did that get loud. And there's no way I'm going to subject you to the year I danced. That was, that was pretty sad. So what I want to do today, we're going to do a couple practices. And even though you're here for someone down here on the field, I want everyone to cheer for every graduate like that's your family member. And you know why we need to do that? All these fine people that live outside the stadium, they've had 15 months of quiet. Okay? So we're going to wake them up and let them know we're here. So you re is everybody ready? If I count to three, am I going to hear how we're going to applaud every single graduate? I didn't count yet. <laughs> you ready? One, two, three. Uh, you know what? The guy that lives in that house, he didn't come out on his patio to complain. One, two, three. There we go. Thank God you saved me. Next I was going to say I was going to sing. So um, graduates, I I'm, I'm so proud of you. You've undercome all kinds of obstacles. Other students who graduated this week said, yeah, we survived 15 months of a pandemic. Well, this class in front of me survived 15 weeks of a pandemic while raising a family, while paying the bills. And just to finish my story for you, where I started out in a blue gown, I now have been employed at Sikorsky for 40 years. I love my job, a few degrees to go along with it, and I made my own path. So knock down that door also. Congratulations, and God bless. Thank you, Mr. Vanstone. Next, we will hear from the principal of the Enlightenment School, Dr. Richard Arroyo. Welcome, everyone. It's nice to see you all here today. Just wanted to take a second. Take a look at everyone. I see a bunch of people in blue that I know pretty well over there. I'm very proud of you all. Okay. Welcome, Dr. Ruffin, our dignitaries, friends, families, stakeholders, welcome to our family event. This time of year brings the opportunity for new beginnings, new beginnings for our graduates to enter into the next stage of their life, whether you're going to college, you're going to work, you're joining the armed forces, or whatever it is you plan on doing. Also, new beginnings for families to find ways to motivate their members to continue to aspire to be successful and productive members of society. It is with great pleasure that I stand here today as the Enlightenment School principal. I've seen you all grow in so many ways. You've matured, you've grown, you've learned, and more important, I think you realized 
you realize that hard work does pay off. You realize that much effort is needed to accomplish goals. You have realized that this accomplishment was not impossible, in fact attainable, once you focused and worked hard at it. This new beginning will have many pitfalls. You'll have many obstacles, many defining moments in life. Hopefully your time with us here, Waterbury Public Schools, that is, has better positioned you to make great decisions based on logic, not emotion. Once again, decisions based on logic, not emotion. As you enter the next stage of your life or new beginning, please remember the family members that worked harder for you to be here sometimes than you did. You know who you are, yes you do. Please remember the teachers and school family members who pushed you to be your best and wanted you to succeed even more than you wanted to. Please remember that the world is bigger than the bus route of the city of Waterbury. Explore it. Please remember that this very exciting time in your life we are here celebrating is not the end of a journey, but a new beginning. In closing, I've sat with many family members at Enlightenment over the years and the biggest question I always get, what are you doing for my baby? Well, mom, dad, auntie, uncle, grandma, grandpa, this right here is what we did for your family and your baby. We love you, we congratulate you, and, you wish, and we wish you well. Take care and congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Arroyo. Lastly, the principal of Waterbury Adult Education, Mr. Antonio Musto. Good afternoon, parents, families, teachers, dignitaries, and above all, you graduates. Welcome to the 2021 Waterbury Adult Graduation Ceremony. It is a great honor and privilege to address you this afternoon. Working with the graduating class of 2021 has been a pleasure. I value the time that I've spent getting to know these fine graduates who are being celebrated here this afternoon. Their accomplishments have been many. I'm pleased to say that we have students entering college, the military, the workforce, and they are ready to accept and surmount the challenges that life has to offer. Graduates, I am confident that your journey through Waterbury Adult Education has provided you with pride, courage, and a purpose to fulfill your hopes and dreams. This graduation ceremony is not the end of your journey. It is the beginning of a life full of opportunities and chances. As you go through life, I want all of you to always work hard to achieve the goals that you have set for yourself. Always be a good person and do nice things for others. Always take pride in your appearance, your education, and above all, your family. And always remember where you came from, and most importantly, where it is that you want to go. But always remember that you will always be part of the Waterbury Adult Education family. Good luck, and God bless the graduating class of Waterbury Adult Education 2021. Normally at this time, we would hear remarks from our valedictorians and salutatorians. They both were unable to attend today's ceremony. However, I would like to take this time to mention and congratulate Thomas Riley, our Waterbury Adult Education valedictorian, and Magu Valixen, the salutatorian of Waterbury Adult Education.
Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The presentation of diplomas, followed by the conferral by principals Mr. Antonio Musto and Dr. Richard Arroyo. Kaylee Crosby. Montana Atwater. Montea. Vince Baez. Anthony Burnett. Jonathan Johnson. Gio Lozada. Pedro Romero. Jalissa Velez. Tajia Walton. Marilyn Angeles. <laughs> Ashley Arzua. <laughs> Carol Barker. <laughs> Isaiah Carpenter. <laughs> Christian Castillo. Yamina Castillo. Laura Coma. Jesus Carrera. Kian Council. Isaac Cruz. Your card. Veronica Maestri. Nathalia. Nathalia Diaz. Shamane Finch. I know, you got your card. Maya Goodman. Heaven Hernandez. Come on now. Get right. Tamika Hightower. Ranasia Hunter. Tori Icavello. Susan Loyola Travia. Oma Luku. Oma Luku.
Unika Lynch. Yvette Maldonado. Lanchoya. Right? Lanchoya Maldonado. Lashana Maldonado. Rolanda Martin. Ada, right? Ada Matos. Edwin Mejia. Edwin Mejia. Tanya Mella. Romario. Romario Morris. Alexander Pacheco. My ladies, Canonias. Brianna Ramirez. Tiki. Tiki Richardson Reeves. Ronald Rivera. Andrew Robinson III. Selena Robles. Tan Ujia Sahado. Ernest Santana. Angel Santiago. Lizette Santos. Samoa. Isabella Simino. Talbot. Timothy Talbot. Shirley Tor. Sarah Torres. Cassandra. How are you? Cassandra Vega. Nice last one. Jessica Velez. Once again, congratulations to the 2021 graduates. You want to give the conferral? You want to give the conferral? Before the conferral, we'd just like to say thank you to everyone for attending today. Have a safe and wonderful summer. Okay, guys, you can stand. Uh, by the power invested in me by the City of Waterbury Board of Education, I now pronounce you graduates of Waterbury Public Schools. Congratulations. Graduates, remain for the processional. <laughs>